The name of the book is Kitab al-Hawamish, which means the book of margins. There's a whole practice of marginalia where some books have a main text and many different interpretations around it. I took the concept further beyond the physical margins to look at everything marginal around the book. What it also tries to do is bring forward so many detailed elements that are invisible to readers, but that are at the core of the beauty of books, the practice of several craftsmen in bookmaking, the functionality of reading, be it what allows us to turn pages, to separate between verses, um, to read text and annotations at the same time. So all of these elements that are marginal to the text itself are actually core in the experience of looking at a book and reading it. And Kitab al-Hawamish tries to bring them to the front. How many sheep do you need to create a Quran? The standard format of paper is rectangular because it uh, resembles the rectangular shape of uh, the animal belly, which is how uh, parchment was originally made. One of the intentions behind this book was to fill the gap of a design history I was never taught. And doing this book and making it accessible to a large audience was a way also to reach my students, but also so many readers of books, of any book, by giving them an artistic interpretation of the history of book design from the region.